So she just put in the fresh batch. I love the way, as soon as she inserts those bell peppers, they just rise to the surface. They bob around and float in that oil. That's The right. buoyancy, they're so buoyant. Also, if you look at the way she's applied the batter, just enough. She's not trying to do too much there. So as they cook, you will also see that the bell peppers are beginning to express yes. themselves even through that batter. <laughs> they're almost erupting through that batter. Yes. At this point, his objective is only to coat that cauliflower with a bit of crunch. It's hot, huh? but he's making light work of that. Bisila. We got to eat it fast, right out of the wok. Mm. Oh, wow. That crunch. I almost salivated. Mm. <laughs> if you told me it was chicken, I would believe you. So we are here in JP Nagar in South Bengaluru. All right. And the place that we are headed for is right across the corner oh, there. It's called yes. Raja Gobi. Excellent. Gobi is basically cauliflower. Okay. And they do a dish with it, which is a confluence of Sino Indian yes. and local Bengaluru flavors. Okay, excellent. Uh, you know, like you think about cauliflower, and you know, it's, it's a great ingredient, uh, but it's around the world. Cauliflower is, maybe it's cooked, not that exciting of a thing to Correct. eat. But guaranteed, in India, they take cauliflower to the next level. So I'm excited to see how they make it. Fantastic. And taste it. And I must tell you one more thing. This was also on Mark's list. That's mm -hmm. how researched my friend here is. <laughs> Namaskara. Uh, Namaskara. Mr. Mark Weens, Videshanali number one food YouTuber Euro. He has heard about Raja Gobi. We've come here early, Mark. He's just opened, so he's looking nice and fresh. But if you come one hour later, yes. you will see a line going all the way down. Wow, the block. wow. Extremely That's popular. Extremely, extremely popular. He's just so fast with that masala, with that batter on the cauliflower, and then he evenly distributes it into the bubbling hot oil. That's going to deep fry until crispy. He almost puts his fingers into the oil, but he does it with such expertise and he's so fast. You can hear every floret of that cauliflower make contact with the vessel. That's how crispy <laughs> and crunchy that cauliflower has been fried. Mrs. Namaskara, Mrs. Mrs. Bhagya. So we filmed an episode with Raja two years ago. Since then, Raja has been swarmed by a stream of customers. And I'm sure after Mark's video here, it's going to be a different level altogether. I'm so happy, so excited for Raja and his wife, Bhagya. Even as he stirs it, he makes sure that he's also crushing them gently so that the individual florets fall apart. So basically at this point, he's only seasoned it enough for that cauliflower to cook in that deep fry. But all the flavor, the extra flavor, the explosion of flavors will happen in the second stage of cooking. At this point, his objective is only to coat that cauliflower with a bit of crunch. It's hot, huh? but he's making light work of that. Bisila. Once the cauliflower is fried, he's moving on to the next stir fry section. Green chilies, curry leaves, ginger is in there. Oh, onions go in. Now you will see the sauces go in. Oh, ketchup goes in. This is a chili sauce. Chili sauce, spices. Salt. Garam masala, chili powder, yes. Look at the manner in which he's working that So wall. fast. Oh. Cauliflower goes in. Oh, he loads it up. Oh, sprinkled with coriander. Onions, more onions go in. Oh, now stir fry it all with that sauce. Coat it in that sauce. It's a flick of the wrist.
Kripal, I think Raja, I think he cooks, he dishes out some of the most exciting cauliflower that you'll ever see in your entire life. I mean, I've never been against cauliflower. I love cauliflower, but he just takes it to the next level. And his dedication, his passion, and even his story, like Rafal was mentioning, he came from a background of cooking everything, non-veg, meat dishes, and so he has that skill. That's right. Yet he put all that passion and that dedication into cauliflower. That's so cool. And he's been doing this at this corner for the last 10 years. Oh man. One dish. It's just a, like an overdose of yeah. spices combined with ketchup and sauces and let's get into it. Absolutely. This is also the sort of food mark that you should taste in a hurry because it also loses a bit of its punch as it loses temperature. We got to eat it fast right out of the wok. Wow. That crunch. I almost salivated. Mm. <laughs> if you told me it was chicken, I would believe you. Yeah. It, it almost feels yeah. like chicken. You know, once you get past the crunch, can you taste a bit of sweetness on your palate it's oh. from the spices? It's from the star oh. anise. It's from a bit of the fennel oh. in that mm -hmm. garam masala. If you were to drink a glass of water now, that water will taste sweet. Because of the sweetness of the aromats that go into his garam masala. And you taste the wok hay the smokiness of the wok, the char of the yes. wok. And with those sauces that he caramelizes down because there's probably some sugar in that ketchup and the tomato sauce that he has, so he caramelizes that down. That like creates this encasing of saucy, sticky sauce all over this crunchy cauliflower and the green chilies. That's right. The and, curry leaves. Yeah, and you know Mark, now there's no cauliflower in my mouth but I'm still tasting the vapor of that cauliflower long after I have swallowed it. Yes. Right? It's not a joke, it's, it's no a, joke. Absolutely, and that's the reason why Raja is so popular. It's just one dish that he does, the gobi, and he does it so well. It's unbelievably crispy. And then with those onions, yeah. curry leaves, coriander. Mm. So good. It's so addictive. Yeah. Like him. And now, if you lived anywhere in the vicinity, you would find yourself here every single day. You wouldn't be able to resist it. Yeah. And now mm. that pungent acridness of the onions. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's cutting through the spice a bit. Here, yeah, just transformed an ingredient that's often forgotten in most yeah. cultures and just taken it to a superior level. His dedication is truly astounding. Poke a piece of the cauliflower. Then what you can do is just scrape along the bottom where all those green chilies, garlic and ginger have accumulated. Oh yes. And that's where you get a full And bite. then you get the full option on one toothpick. Mm. That is unbelievably tasty. You know there are very few dishes that where you speak about tasting them even when they're not in your mouth. <laughs> So you're describing a dish, but you're describing it on the basis of the residual aroma, of the residual vapor that's still jostling in your palate. Oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, the spices, mm -hmm. if you look at the complexity of the spices, the sourness, the sweetness, the uh -huh. warmth is also beautifully balanced. Yes, definitely. Yeah. But it has this addictive acidity. That tartness, I think, is what Mm. Keeps you going back for more and more. Him do masala, inu solpa flavor punch agi the. Jasti madi. Ah, iga solpa chakra fooli do. Jasti flavor. Last time fennel jasti to. Iga solpa berryella masala. Ananas wa. Ah, ananas wa jasti madi dira. After putting it in the mouth, adhe health the yurige. Illa final yeno. Mathe saath gama gama. Adra to pari mala bharta the. Vapor bharta the. Change the recipe. So he tweaked it. The last time around when I tasted ah, it, I okay. could taste more of the fennel seeds. But this oh, time okay. around, I'm tasting a lot more of the character that comes from the star anise. Also a bit of the warmth oh, yeah. that comes from the pepper. Star anise, yeah. So he's also worked his recipe. You know, that's nice. the whole point. Yeah, innovated. He's innovated. He's, I mean, he's taking one dish, but he's trying to think, okay, how can I take it to the next level? That's How can I take it to the next unbelievable. level? Unbelievable. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, yes, Raja. Thank you, Raja. Thank you, Raja. Wow. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. In Kannada, we say Olled Agli, which means agli. may good things happen. Oh, okay. Olledu Agli. Olledu Agli. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> what a man. What a man, Mr. Raja. Try Gobi. Okay. Oh, hot. Mm. 
It's so crispy. This is a bit of seasoning of the chili powder mm -hmm. and the salt and a little bit of the pepper. Mm. Mm. How does he make it that crispy? This is a double fried. He allows it to roast a little longer. Amazing the manner in which he treats Gobi. You never see cauliflower being the hero, right? No. But out here it is. Yes. Delicious. <laughs> So Mark, for the next stop on our street food tour, we're going to be visiting this place which is a bhaji shop, a bhaji angadi. Basically okay. fried fritters. Okay. They do a range of fritters, but the one that you're interested in is made of the whole capsicum. Yes, looks so cool. The way they make it, the whole capsicum, it looks incredible. Fantastic. So that's what we're about to taste. Next. Awesome. Namaskara. Namaskaram. Mr. Mark Wiens. Nandu show, Nimdu Bage, Ali Nodidare. What's the story, Kripa? So, Here. Rajama began this cart 35 years ago with her sons, and then, of course, also her husband. And her sons were little toddlers, and they would come with her as she pushed the cart. Today, the sons are supporting her also in what they're wow. doing. Wow. So, they do a range, Mark. They do the bell pepper, they do the chilies, they do the bread, they do the masal vade, which is with the lentils, they do the potato, they do the long chili. So there's a range of uh, fried fritters that they do. Look at the manner in which that capsicum is Just bobbing. Bobs. Yeah. It floats. It floats. So she's just put in the fresh batch. I love the way, as soon as she inserts those bell peppers, they just rise to the surface. They bob around and float in that oil. That's the right. The buoyancy, they're so buoyant. Also, if you look at the way she's applied the batter, just enough. She's not trying to do too much there. So as they cook, you will also see that the bell peppers are beginning to express yes. themselves even through that batter. <laughs> they're almost erupting through that batter. Yes, yes. And they're starting to transform into this golden, ball yeah and the aroma of the green chili and green uh, bell peppers coming out oh it smells so good it's ready to blister open now mark yes the bell peppers are rarely the hero yeah. but here she has elevated the bell pepper to something of new heights to something that has never been seen before in other places There's that masala with the chili yeah. and some greens and that's ready. The fresh grind. Did you have a grind? When you buy a store-bought gram flour, you don't know what's gone into it. Yes, true. So here, it's pure, right? Because it's a chickpea and they make the flour out of it. They make the flour themselves. Yeah, so there's no adulterant. Wow. There's nothing else that's in there which is not required. It really has to massage that batter so that it's smooth, right? Yes, no lumps. Straight out of the oil. Ah. I love it when he slices it open and it releases the bubble. That uh, capsicum, as they're called here, or bell peppers, they're airtight. It's like a pocket, a bubble of air. And he just releases that steam, comes yes. out, and the dressing, again, he sprinkles on, I think that's chili powder, maybe a mix so of So that's a combination, some chili powder, probably some other seasoning that goes in. There's also some lemon salt that goes in, that yeah. gives it a bit of a tang. Oh, 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 but I think oh. what we should do with this one is you gotta get to it right away, because the moisture on the salad on top would have already begun to oh, work yeah, its true. weight into true. the batter. You need to eat it immediately. That's right. That incredibly colorful salad on top, the carrots, the onions. That's a textural dream. The lemon salt. Yes, the batter is a little floppy and spongy and crispy. But then the bell pepper, it's been seared, but it hasn't been fully cooked. So it has that crunchy freshness still. When you bite down, you feel the juices of the bell pepper just 
gushing out. That's right. This dish is amazing in the sense that they're cooking the bell pepper for a while encased in that gram flour batter. But that bell pepper hasn't transformed in its identity. It's softened a bit just so that it mm. is a little better to your palate. So you have the crunch of the gram flour. The casing and then the vegetal notes of yes. the bell pepper. Yes. Brightness of the carrots and onions. Mm. Oh, and that kind of chili salt, lemony freshness. Pop it. Mark certainly loves his spice. Yes, load it mm. up. Look at that cross section. It's like a little canoe. It's like a little bell pepper canoe straight to your mouth. A vessel. That's right. A vessel for toppings. So good. You know, this is a sort of junk food. Pagoda bhaji is typically junk food, but it's so healthy. Barring that casing mm -hmm. of that gram flour, mm. everything else is fresh. Even the way she deep fries it, it doesn't feel oily at all. Not at all. Like, you'd think it's like a sponge of oil. Actually, it's not oily at all. Look at her fingers, it's dry. It's absolutely yeah, yeah. dry. The way she does it, I think on the perfect heat of the oil. Yeah, you go for the last one, Mark. This okay. is yours. I can't resist. Help you get all that oh, into your yes. canoe, into Mark's little <laughs> canoe. A little canoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a, another example of such ingenuity, creativity, and making use of natural ingredients, but combining them together to make them so tasty and yeah. so much fun to eat as well. That bite was extra crispy too. <laughs> yeah. And I love how it's a family affair tale, so they respect the ingredients, so humble, but cooking something so tasty and so friendly, so hospitable. And just look at the crowd behind us. There's a huddle of people that are just waiting to eat bell peppers. Where else in the world would you find a crowd of people who have come to eat bell peppers? And Mark, not just that, they've been in this location for 35 years. The world around them has changed. Nothing has been constant, but this Rajama Madhavan Park Bajji shop has remained constant. And so has this. And I'm, the flavor has remained the same. Bajji. It's a stronghold in a changing world. And one that brings so much pleasure. To so many people, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is not on the menu. She not just... on the menu, but this is just for us. Just taste it. Mm. Is it the ash gourd? No. Musk melon. Musk melon. Wow. Some more? Yeah, that's good. Very good, no? Yeah, and saffron or? Yeah, I mean, she would have used a bit of that. Almost Some like nuts. a jam. Yeah. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!